Welcome to Merman TV. We are going behind the scenes on my recent 100 subscribers celebration video. And we're going through the time warp to 1985 when Activision released the complete computer fireworks celebration kit. This is part of a period where they were releasing some more unusual software, the programming languages, the designer's pencil and Gary Kitchen's Game Maker. David Crane's Little Computer People, and also the Music Studio composing software. I do like that little Activision logo fading in there. Uh, it then went wrong for Activision when they tried to expand, became mediagenic, took over Infocom, and the bankruptcy lent to the second period where it returned as one of the biggest companies in the world. So now we'll see the intro from the program itself written in the kit, and we'll look at how So as you can see, I just pause that while I change the joystick port. We need the joystick to be in port one. As you can see, you can create your own show and save it to a disk to send to someone else. We're now into the main menu system and it's as simple as changing the events, changing the parameters and creating your display. The main menu on the left here, you start with the play to play the display currently in memory. From will allow you to play from a particular step. You can save and load to disk. You can delete a file from disk. You can clear the current display, list the displays on the disk. The scene is the bitmap background at the back and there are a few on the disk included. Create is for creating your own disk. The songs are the built-in songs found on the disc, or you can import songs from the Music Studio Composer, as mentioned in the intro. And finally, in it is to initialize or to format a new disc ready for use. So we'll have a quick look through here. As you can see, each step, this is step one, has three commands on the left here. You can change to change what happens on that step. You can insert a new blank step or you can remove a step completely. And each command here has a type of icon and then the parameters. So this first one is a small launcher and it puts up the flag at the bottom of the screen. This is for the messages. You can have a static message or you can have a scrolling message. The scrolling parameter decides how fast it scrolls and the color you can change and how long it's on the screen. You can play the song itself or turn the sound of the fireworks on and off. Launch various types of fireworks. Again, words, those are the ground effects. Those are the sh small launchers. 
So the small launchers only appear over the bitmap background. The large launchers, the large shots, as we'll see in a moment, are the ones that scroll the screen upwards. So we're still low, high air. You see, keep going, stepping through and seeing what happens. And you can see here, if we go to one of these parameters, we can just simply change the type by going to it. And these are some of the preset things and shapes you can include, which are done with sprites. And you press fire again to move. Left and right determines the position left and right on the screen. 128 possible positions. 0 to 127, so 64 is in the middle. The height is how far up the screen it travels, so you can have it go a short way or a long way. And again, these are other types of fire, the small salute, large salute, little bursts, silver jet, serpent I quite like. Again, more words, parachute. And then we'll see the larger fireworks come later in the display. And there's a wait command, allows you to wait for a certain amount. Now we're on to the larger fireworks. The colour here, there's some interesting settings in here. This one is blue and white. Change it in red and blue, red, white and blue. Or you can just have a single colour. The size governs how big the initial explosion is. The ember then decides how long it burns for and how far the sparks travel out. Height. Again, it's the height, left and right, where it goes left and right. And then the types, the shell, round, butterfly, blossom, willow, star, oval, watermelon, palm, for the bigger types. So we've got one, two, three and four are the larger types. So what we'll do now is I'll attach my other disk and load access the disk and we'll load 100 subscribers file 2 and it will load in my display and it will then ask for the original fireworks kit disk to load in any scenes and music that it are used so open that disk as you can see, we're running in NTSC mode here, 60 hertz for compatibility with the original kit as it was released in America. So the disk is now loading in the background scene I chose and my display. So we start off with a big butterfly burst, play the song Pomp and Circumstance, type four salutes, the little bursts and we scroll down so scrolling message await until that's gone off the screen large round shells pinwheels on the ground 100 subscribers for my youtube channel today blossom in red and blue followed by willow thanks to all my subscribers the big bumblebee salutes the bumblebees, a little extra. And then by this point in the display, I discovered that the song was running out. So I set it to run again. And uh, describing more about what's on the channel, the silver jets and the fountains on the ground. Serpent going up, big star, please like and just subscribe. Round shells, red and white, red and blue. And then the final message. And then we wait and we stop the music. So, I hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes. It's a fascinating piece of software, the Complete Computer Fireworks Celebration Kit from Activision, released in 1985 for Commodore 64. I believe there's also an Atari 8-bit version as well, which I've never seen myself. And so I'll leave you with the display one last time. Hope you've enjoyed this glimpse at how the previous video was made and keep tuned to my channel for more retro unboxing, gameplay and perhaps some more utility videos like this one.